Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback, Wikipedia article audio. The Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback was founded in 1969 as the Biofeedback Research Society. The association aims to promote understanding of biofeedback and advance the methods used in this practice. AAPB is a non-profit organization as defined in Section 501 of the Internal Revenue Service Code. AAPB aims to advance the development, dissemination, and utilization of knowledge about applied psychophysiology and biofeedback to improve health and the quality of life through research, education and practice. AIMS Definition of Biofeedback AAPB's aims include the American Psychological Association has named biofeedback as a clinical proficiency. The Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback, the Biofeedback Certification Institution of America, and the International Society for Neurofeedback and Research approved the following definition of biofeedback on May 18, 2008. Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback is a journal devoted to study of the interrelationship of physiological systems, cognition, social and environmental parameters, and health. Priority is given to original research which contributes to the theory, practice, and evaluation of applied psychophysiology and biofeedback. Other sections are for conceptual and theoretical articles evaluative reviews, the clinical forum, which includes case studies, clinical replication series, treatment protocols, and clinical notes and observations, the discussion forum, innovations in instrumentation, letters to the editor, comments on issues raised in articles, and book reviews. Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback is a publication of the Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback. Frank Andrasik serves as the journal's editor. Biofeedback, a clinical journal is a peer-reviewed, quarterly online journal for biofeedback practitioners, educators, health and mental health professionals, and researchers in psychophysiology. Biofeedback includes reports on advances in biofeedback, neurofeedback, self-regulation strategies, sports physiology, personal and occupational wellness, peak performance in the arts, and scientific psychophysiology. Journals Biofeedback also publishes articles on practice standards and ethical principles in research and practice feature articles on uses of biofeedback, and case studies illustrating use of mind-body therapies and principles. Priority is given to programs of research, innovative clinical programs, and technical advances. The journal also publishes historical and biographical articles on biofeedback and psychophysiology, reviews of the development of biofeedback in international settings, innovations in instrumentation and software, and book reviews. Biofeedback, a clinical journal is an official publication of the Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback. Don Moss serves as the journal's editor. AAPB Teleseminars present findings in topics of interest to biofeedback and neurofeedback professionals like battle trauma and neurons and neurotransmitters. Teleseminars are approved by the APA and Nursing Association, and most last 90 minutes, providing 1.5 hours of CE credit. Telesminars allow professionals to earn all of the CE credits needed for professional licensure and BCIA renewal. Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback Membership in AAPB is open to professionals interested in the investigation and application of applied psychophysiology and biofeedback, 
and in the scientific and professional advancement of the field. The AAPB has grown to more than 2,000 members representing the fields of psychology, medicine, nursing, social work, counseling, physical therapy, education, and other health care areas. Corporations can support AAPB through their corporate membership. There are many state chapters, and the association has members in several countries. The Applied Professionals section was formed to create an alliance of biofeedback professionals in order to support recognition of unlicensed biofeedback practitioners. Members include biofeedback professionals who are researchers, rehabilitation specialists, educators, stress management counselors, healthcare specialists, and other biofeedback consultants who are not recognized under a specific license. The Allied Professionals section accepts unlicensed biofeedback practitioners, regardless of their specialty. The Applied Respiratory Psychophysiology section promotes scientific and clinical activities in the area of respiratory retraining for treating psychological and physical symptoms, and the management of respiratory diseases. The section fosters research on the causes and effects of hyperventilation and effects of respiratory rhythms on other physiological systems including the body's homeostatic reflexes. Biofeedback, a clinical journal. The education section is the oldest within AAPB. The section focuses on assisting biofeedback professionals as educators and supporting applications of biofeedback in an educational setting. Teleseminar series. The section embarked on a project in 2008 to redefine its mission and function within AAPB. Included in the section's proposed initiatives is the development of a web-based link that will enable the exchange of information between AAPB's stakeholders. The first phase of implementation for the link project is planned as a component of AAPB's larger website renovation, and will involve coordinating information about planned educational programs amongst AAPB and its state, regional, and international chapters. Membership The international section fosters the promotion of scientific research and clinical practice, promotion of high standards of professional practice, peer review, ethics, and education in biofeedback, and dissemination of information about biofeedback to members and the public. Members can be involved in the governance of the section develop a network of international contacts dealing with similar issues, clarify how AAPB and the section can better meet their needs, and can contribute to the expansion of biofeedback worldwide. The purpose of the ISMA USA Stress Management section is to promote scientific and clinical activities in the application areas of stress management for treating psychological and physical symptoms and management of stress-related disorders. Structure Mind-body medicine is an area of research funding by the NIHS National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine and the Office of Behavioral and Social Sciences Research. The website is at Neurofeedback Division membership is open to members of AAPB who are interested in research and practice in neurofeedback. The division sponsors activities at the AAPB annual meeting including key speakers and workshops. The Neurofeedback Division newsletter includes articles on clinical and technical interviews, topics including insurance, ethics, medical legal issues and products, systems, and approaches. Articles for the Biofeedback News magazine are also submitted by Division members. Benefits of membership include newsletters and list serves, programs, and a dinner at the annual meeting, web listing opportunities, and access to the AAPB website's members-only area.
sustaining members receive recognition in the neurofeedback newsletter, certificate showing support of division, and free web link in members only section of website. The optimal functioning section was organized to discuss and explore uses of biofeedback and applied psychophysiology for optimizing health, mental, physical, emotional and spiritual functioning, and peak performance fields. The section holds a meeting in conjunction with the annual conference, and sponsors invite symposia and presentations from recognized experts. The Performing Arts Psychophysiology section is open to anyone interested in psychophysiology for artists. Members possess a background in art. The section was founded on the premise that the physiological effects of stress threaten artists' health and professional careers. It encourages development of clinical applications, validation of therapies which artists utilize, and testing of arts populations with psychophysiological models. Allied Professionals Section the Surface EMG division within AAPB began as the Surface EMG Society of North America. The aim is to promote the use of surface electromyography techniques within the context of applied psychophysiology. They provide a track at the AAPB annual meeting, workshops, and internet dialogue on members' interests. Applied Respiratory Psychophysiology Section the Biofeedback Research Society was founded in 1969. The BRS was renamed the Biofeedback Society of America in 1976 and the Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback in 1989. The encouragement of scientific research and the expansion of clinical and educational applications of biofeedback and applied psychophysiology the integration of biofeedback with other self-regulatory methods, the promotion of high standards of professional practice, ethics, and education, the increase of member knowledge through events, publications, educational programs, and special interest sections and divisions, making the public aware of biofeedback. 1969-2009 Ph.D., C.A.E., C.M.P. 2007-2010, David L. Stumpf, I.O.M., C.A.E. 2008, Aubrey Ewing, 2007, Alan Glarose, 2006, Richard Gevertz, 2005, Richard Sherman, 2004, Steve Baskin, 2003, Linda Kirk, 2002, Paul Lehrer, 2001, Donald Moss, 2000, Doyle Montgomery, 1999, Dale Walters, 1998, Ian Wickramasekara, 1997, Sebastian Strefel, 1996, Joel F. Luber, 1995, Angelie McGrady, 1994, Michael McKee, 1993, Frank Andrasik, 1992, Paula B. Amar, 1991, Stephen L. Wolfe, 1990, J. Peter Rosenfeld, 1989, Susan Middaw, 1988, M. Barry Sturman, 1987, Mark Schwartz, 1986, Carol Schneider, 1985, Patricia Norris, 1984, Neil Miller, 1983, John D. Rugg, 1982, Stephen L. Farian, 1981, Bernard T. Engel, 1980, Edward Taub. 1979, John Basmagian, 1978, Elmer Green, 1977, Charles Strobel, 1976, Eric Pepper, 
1975, Joe Kamaya, 1974, Thomas H. Bajinsky, 1973, Gary Schwartz, 1971-1972, Johannes Toiva, 1970-1971, Thomas Mulholland, 1969-1970, Barbara Brown. The AAPB Foundation was formed in 1985 at the urging of then AAPB President, Neil Miller. Miller believed that the organization should encourage the interest and application of work by students to demonstrate the efficacy of biofeedback techniques. Presently, the foundation annually supports travel scholarships to students whose papers have been accepted for presentation at the annual meeting. Education Section International Section ISMA USA Stress Management Section Mind-Body Medicine Section The Foundation for Education and Research in Biofeedback and Related Sciences initiated a program aimed at stimulating biofeedback research at its 2009 board meeting. The board established funding for three grants at $1,000 each. Eligibility is limited to graduate students doing research in biofeedback and related fields. The award is accompanied by a travel scholarship and a waiver of registration to attend the AAPB annual meeting where the results of the research are presented. Neurofeedback Division Optimal Functioning Section Performing Arts Psychophysiology Section SEMG slash Cessna Division State, Regional, and International Chapters State Chapters Regional Chapters International Chapters History Executive Directors Past Presidents AAPB Foundation